One thing that is lacking in a lot of female friendships is girl code, okay? Yes, a lot of us don't know girl code, a lot of us don't respect girl code, a lot of us don't even understand girl code to start with. So yeah, in today's video, as the president of the Virtuous Women Association, as the leader of the girl power movement, <laughs> I'm going to be listing out some very important girl code that you need in your friendships and your relationships with other women so that it can last for a very long time. So the first code, I just want to get this one out of the way, okay, because I don't even understand how anybody can actually break this code and that is exes are off limits, okay? I don't understand how anyone can go after their best friend's ex. Or their close girlfriend's ex like how okay so i'm not going to say that you can never ever 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 date or marry an ex or, or an ex of your friend okay i'm not going to say that because we don't know people's destiny sometimes you're supposed to meet sometimes you are actually the right person for that your friend's ex and maybe your friend was just a way of meeting that person yeah it happens i know it happens okay but majority of times, that is not the case. As he's your friend's ex, you should also be your ex. Ex him in your own mind, don't go after him, okay? So if a lot of time has passed and then you will now meet somehow by chance and you get talking and you decide that, okay, you guys are the ones for each other, with your friend's blessing, at least let your friend be aware, then, you know, you can go ahead. But for, for the most part, I think we should just avoid it, okay? Now the second one, which is actually a no-brainer, but let's just say it, okay? Let's just put it out there. Please do not flirt or do not try to seduce your friend's man. It might sound like, ah, uh, like who, who, who does that? Yeah, some people does that. Some people, they're in the business of doing that. <laughs> they're in the business of doing that they 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 in fact the most attractive person to them is their friend's boyfriend is their husband is their friend's husband yes okay so please do not flirt do not become unnecessarily attached or comfortable with your friend's man present past future okay put a barrier between you and your friend's man don't go there and go and start disgracing yourself trying to see if something can happen between you and the person like why to what end? Like, what is the, what was the reason? Like, what was the reason? Okay, so please try and maintain docker room, okay? Try and respect yourself when it comes to your friends, husbands, partners, boyfriends, whatever it is. Just try and respect yourself. It's not that hard, okay? Trust me, it's not that hard. There are so many men in this world. You don't have to date the same person that your friend is dating. You don't have to try and snatch. Even I don't like that term because nobody can be snatched if they don't want to be snatched. But don't try and snatch your friend's boyfriend or maybe someone that your friend is eyeing and she has told you about it. She has told you how she loves this guy, you know, and she's trying and she's trying to shoot her shots. Then you, because... You cannot afford to see your friend happy. You will not carry your busy body and go there and go and flirt with the guy. And when you not get the guy, you're not like, ah, oh, sorry, I didn't know that you really liked him that. Eh, eh, you know, you knew. Okay, and some of you don't even like that guy that much. It's just because your friend likes the guy. You now want to go for the guy. That's really bad behavior. Okay, you were raised better. Even if I don't know how you were raised, but I feel like you were raised better. Now, the next one, which might be debatable, is when your friend introduces you to another friend, you know, to a friend of hers, do not become so close to that friend of hers that you now exclude her from the friendship okay a lot of girls do this a lot of women do this and i don't get it okay so for instance we are three friends ada choma and chingere right we are three friends ada and choma we are actually friends then ada and chingere we are also friends okay now ada now introduces choma to chingere then choma now decides or chingere now decides to go after choma okay and then they now start hanging out together start going now start doing things start talking on the phone start you know building a very solid friendship and then excluding ada from the equation i don't subscribe to that i don't like it okay try to include your friends in your circle like if actually when another person that even was the friend to that person to start with okay try and always include of course i'm not saying that you should never see that person without your friend being in the picture you should never be friends with that person without your friend being in the picture but you guys know when it is getting excessive you guys know when it is becoming rude for you to keep excluding the main person who was actually the binding factor between the two of you especially when there was no issue between you guys to start with i think it's not fair when your friend offends you when your friend does something you don't like okay when you start having issues with your friend address it first and foremost with your friend and try to work it out before you go and start telling others especially when you're telling others and your friend is not there 
I have seen a lot of people who, when they start having issues with a friend or someone that they're very close to, I mean, I mean BFF, best friends for life, sisters, twinnies, stuff like that, you know, really close friends, when they now start having issues, you will now see one of them or even the two of them talking about each other behind each other's backs in a very, I don't know, very nonsense kind of way that you'll just be like, I thought you guys were friends. Like, I really thought you guys were that close. Why are you talking like that about your best friend, about your sister, about your twinny? You know, a lot of girls are guilty of this. Yeah, let's just own it up because I know that I have been guilty of this at some point where my friend annoys me and I go out and I'm with another friend of mine, maybe someone that knows us and knows the friend. And I'll just be like, you know what? I'll start ranting to that my friend about what my friend did to me, okay? I have been guilty of it. You know, but uh, although in my own case, I'm kind of person that <laughs> it's quite funny, but I do is I'm kind of person that I'll rant to you about my friend though. If you now want to side me and then bash my friend, I'll now start defending that my friend and tell you that no, she's not like that, it's not that bad. I beg, I beg, it's not that bad. Like I'll now try to, you know, change things and be like, no, especially when the anger has gone down, and I'll be like, oops, I don't goof, okay? I'll now start trying to defend my friend and I start trying to tell them, you know what, it's not that bad. I'm trying to start, you know, deflecting and all of that, okay? So that's how I behave when I catch myself doing it. But now I have made a conscious effort that Whatever my friend does to me, is either I address it without my friend or I let go, okay? Going outside, talk badly about your friend, going outside to leak your friend's secret, that's what I don't even get. Like, something that the person told you in confidence, then because you guys have a small issue, or not even an issue at all, some of you are just loud-mouthed, some of you just talk too much, that you just, you talk and spill everybody's secret. Like, now the next one, which some people don't even know, okay? So people don't know about it, but I totally do not like it and I feel like it causes strains in a lot of female friendships. Please, I know you like to joke, I know you like to be funny, I know you like to, you know, make people laugh, but please don't make people laugh at, at your friend's expense. Don't make people laugh and make your friend the butt of the joke. Like, how difficult is that for you to stop or for you, for you not to make fun of your friend in such a way that it makes other people laugh and makes your friend feel bad? Like, is it just me that feels like that is not a difficult thing to do? Some people, when a man is in the picture, when a guy is standing in the corner, when a guy is in the picture, when they're, in a, they're with a group of guys and their friends come al along or come around, they now turn their jokes on their friend and try to start joking with their friend, as in making jokes about their friend, maybe about her outfit, about something she did, something they don't even know about. You start bringing up the past, start bringing up just something to make the man laugh or see you in a different light while putting down your close friend or your best friend or your friend like to me it even says more about you than whatever joke or whatever secret or whatever thing you're saying about your friend it says more about you i'll be side eyeing you i'll be looking at you with like ah oh, this person is really a terrible person okay now there are other friendly kind of jokes there are teases you know where you tease your friend when people are there i'm not talking about that one i'm talking about all those kind of you know just general friendly laugh or friendly banter i'm talking about you know making your friend it's like when you say your friend is even uncomfortable but you keep going in and in and in trying to get a laugh from other people like it's not worth it okay that laugh is not worth it it doesn't make them see you as a better person okay i'm sure everybody in the room is thinking the same thing but they're just laughing because it's funny but they're like oh this person is mean this person yeah it makes you a mean girl like it makes you a mean girl outside you should be the one hyping your friend the most you should be the one if anybody's even trying to joke with your friend you should be the one canceling it and fighting it like you shouldn't be the one hurting your friends even though your friend sometimes your friend might even be nervously laughing just because okay she doesn't want to look like she's a party pooper or you know she's not you know like a very friendly or social person she might even be laughing along so just use your common sense and know that okay you know what i can joke about any other person it doesn't have to be her now the next one which is quite related it is this please please and please and please don't let men come in between your friendships like i don't understand why are you breaking up friendships why are you losing your girlfriends why are you hating on each other why are you having beefs like full blown full blown beefs with each other simply because i don't know i play with my hair simply because of a man like think twice sis it's no good you know i feel like it's a it's a code that we should all understand that you know what because even men men they they go by this code okay if you know what they call bros before hoes like right yeah bros before hoes which is bros as in brothers friends before girls and they even call girls hoes in a very derogatory derogatory you know way 
It's what they characterize all women, like all women are hoes, like all women are not worth it, okay? It should be sisters, yeah, sisters before misters. Your men should be able to respect your friendships, like, right? He doesn't have to even like your friend. He doesn't have to be friend, best friends with your friend. He doesn't have to be close to your friend, but he should be able to respect your friendship. He should be able to just say, you know what? That's your friend. Your, your husbands, your partners should encourage you to have and build meaningful friendships, okay? Now, if your friend is not a friend, maybe your friend is a frenemy, and your husband or your boyfriend or your partner is trying to save you from that you know that that wreck that shipwreck of a relationship then maybe you should look into the reasons why he is saying what he is saying but it shouldn't be that you should now go and say because my boyfriend told me that this girl is a is a is a hater i'll now go and meet her and say you are a hater you are a, this your friendship is cancelled blah 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 or i'll just stop talking to her like that no look into it okay if there's some substance to it if it makes sense okay then you can actually let the friendship go i'm not saying you should never let friendships go you can let friendships go if to you it makes sense but you see a lot of women they love their friends so they love their girlfriends they want to be friends with their girlfriends but because one man has said, I don't want to see that your friend again in this house. I don't want to see with that friend. I don't like that your friend. One, actually, not even husband. Some, some people just boyfriend. They now, you know, spoil their female friendships. Oh, this one has to do with, you know, going out with your girlfriends, going on trips, going on vacations, going to the club, going to restaurants, hanging out, you know, just going out with your friends. Please, all of us that came together. We are all going together, okay? I don't want to hear that, okay, you saw this guy across the room and then flashes and then, you know, turn, what they call it, lightning or whatever went between the two of you and then you want to go and explore things with him and then after exploring things with him, you want to go and have more exploration with him outside. You want to now go with him home or you want him to drop you at home or you want to go, go, go with him to another club or to another date or to another restaurant or to another location. Mba, when we all came to Together. No, you all of us that came together, we are going to stick together and we're going to go home together. When we get home, then you can call him to come and pick you from your house or you go and meet him separately, okay? And I'm saying this because, especially to younger people, right? I'm saying this because for safety reasons, for safety reasons, try and band together. And this also actually relates to my next point, okay? Please don't keep your dates a secret. Don't keep your boyfriends a secret. Don't keep your relationships a secret. Like, I don't get it. Okay, maybe it goes back to the number one or two point about snatching boyfriend or being too comfortable with partner or flirting or whatever. Maybe that's why people keep it a secret. But basically, what I'm saying is this. Don't keep your friendships a secret. Don't keep your relationships a secret, especially from your close circle of friends or from that your one best friend. If you're someone that has one best friend or you have a close circle of best friends, don't keep your relationship a secret. Like, you don't know what you don't know, right? There are things about your relationship that when you tell your friends, I'm going to tell you like, ding, 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 sis, that is a red flag, run for your life, right? Your friends might be, be able to tell you that, or maybe your friend, your friend know that guy from somewhere and he has a bad, you know, reputation, or they know him from somewhere for doing something bad, right? You don't know. So please don't keep it a secret. Let your close friends know. I'm not saying you can't tell the whole world. You don't, you don't have to tell the whole world, even though me. Right now, I believe that you should go and tell the whole world because the way these men are moving now, a lot of them are moving mad. A lot of them can be married and come and be dating you. So put their picture out there so that the real wife will claim him, okay? But even aside that, just let your friends know when you are going to visit your man, you visit your friend, you visit your boyfriend or this new man you are trying to build a relationship with, please let your friends know. And that reminds me, related to this, we should also be able to hold our friends accountable when they do something wrong or when they are doing something wrong or they are doing something that is hurtful or they are doing something that you know is not good for them you know try and just yeah chip it in and say nah, this thing you are doing is not gonna work or it's not good for you or this guy you're trying to date is like mm, yeah, maybe you should not you should hold off or you know saying yes to this guy or you know just try and hold them accountable don't be a yes friend where anything your friend says yes anything your friend says yes you cannot even say oh i don't like this thing once your friend says i like this you say you too i like me too i like it like you people can have different likes and preferences and loves and wants in this life and still be friends. And now the last one, which is a no-no. Do not have unhealthy competitions with your friends, okay? Now there's healthy competition, right? There's healthy competition. I won't even call it competition. There's healthy, you know, like keeping each other accountable and just working towards the same goals and stuff like that. 
and then there is i want to one-up my friend i want to one-up i want to do better than my friend i want to rub it in her face i want to make her know that me and her are not are not on the same level i want her to know i have more money than her i want her to know i have like everything is a competition with you if your friend says oh i made one thousand naira last month you'll be like ah one thousand naira me i made ten thousand naira hey you're, you're even still starting you're just a learner like sis what is that what was the reason I, i'll keep asking what was the reason like you don't have to have unhealthy competitions with your friend you can actually cheer your friends on even if you're in the same department the same the same uh, line of business the same job role the same whatever it is you can actually cheer your friends on while also excelling yourself i feel like it's a healthier better environment even for work because a lot of women have issues with their female bosses because a lot of female bosses a lot of women are competing even with their subordinates why so yeah i think that's it i think i have talked a lot actually okay let me know in the comment section if there's anything i missed that you feel should be a girl code leave it in the comment section let's help each other out let's help our friendships out let's try and have long lasting female friendships because Female friendships are a very beautiful thing, though. Because you say you like men, you like men, you prefer men, you prefer men. Does a man understand menstruation? By the time you get married, will he understand pregnancy? Will he understand breastfeeding? Will he understand, you know, birth control, the female type of birth control? Will he understand those intricacies, those, you know, those things that makes us women? A lot of men can never, ever relate, no matter how domesticated or what we call it you want to feminine even if it's a gay a, a, a gay even if the guy is gay he will not still understand what it means to be a woman it's only your girlfriend that will understand what it means to be a woman what's what it means to be a mom what it means to you know strive and try in the workplace as a woman only your girlfriends can really understand that okay so please i feel like we should really work very well on our friendships and forgive your friends i forgot to add this part okay forgive your friends some of you you forgive man so easily you forgive any other person in this world so easily but you see that your girlfriend any small thing she does you're carrying it in your mind you're talking about it over and over again you're dissing her for it you're shading her for it you're sending her messages for it yeah like you're doing too much you know forgive your friend everybody has mistakes everybody makes mistakes okay and I'm not talking about friendships just because your friend made a mistake doesn't mean that you should cancel that your friend like we cancel too easily like we cancel too easily your friend made a mistake okay call your friend and just advise your friend and you know tell your friend i did you did listen to me i don't like it okay let's move on and you move on like you don't have to anyway let me rest my case i think i've talked too much okay <laughs> i've talked too much about to spinning me anyway guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys